with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. I thank the Lord and I praise Him. I bless the name of the Lord. When I was young and innocent, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. I prayed for her before the temple, and I will seek her until the end. And she flourished as a grape soon arrived. My heart delighted in her. My feet kept to the level path, because from the earliest youth, I was familiar with her. In the short time I paid heed, I met with great instruction, since in this way I have profited. I will give my teacher grateful praise. I became resolutely devoted to her, the good I persistently strove for. My soul was tormented in seeking her. My hand opened her gate, and I came to know her secrets. I directed my soul to her, and in cleanness I attained to her. The word of the Lord. Speak to God. 800 plus. No good week. They 
are more precious than gold than a heap of purest gold sweeter also than silver or money from the According to Mark. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, by what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me. And I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin? They feared the crowd. For they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. As we mentioned at the beginning of the Mass in the liturgical calendar of the Church, today we celebrate the Feast of St. Charles Wanga and fellow Ugandan martyrs. We are celebrating the first martyrs of 
the Church of Uganda. They were martyred in the late 19th century together with other foreign missionaries. Uh, that's why we are waiting for the liturgy, uh, the red vestment. No. It's, it's not because I'm half Chinese and red is a sign of good luck or sign of celebration. No? Uh, I had a classmate once after his ordination, he had a Thanksgiving Mass. And supposed to be the best mess was white, but he preferred to wear red because both his parents were Chinese and he was Chinese. And for him, it doesn't appear celebratory and festal if he wears white. <laughs> so he wore uh, a, a red vestment. But for you, who are students of Notre Dame of Marvel University, today is also a special day. Today is your graduation day. And we begin this day with, uh, with a Mass. And let's take our reflection uh, from the first reading from the book of Sirach. Uh, this is a book that we only find in the Catholic Bible. <laughs> we don't find this book uh, like the book of Maccabees uh, in the Protestant Bible. No? They have a lesser number of Old Testament books than we do because they exclude some books. And one of the books they excluded uh, is this book, the book of Serac. Sometimes it's called the book of Ben Serac. Sometimes it's called also the book of Yeso Ben Serac. But for your sake, let's just call it the book of Serac. <laughs> uh, the book of Serac in the Old Testament is the longest Bible. It's the longest book in the Old Testament. Uh, it consists of 51 chapters. And our text this morning uh, uh, is taken from the last part, chapter 51. And it ends, uh, the book ends again with a prayer, prayer of thanksgiving. If you listen carefully, uh, our text begins, I will thank the Lord and praise Him. I bless the name of the Lord. In the Bible, uh, the end always ends with prayer, and the prayer always is in the form of thanksgiving. It's so fitting that as we end your, uh, your studies at this institution, I'm sure not the end of all your studies, <laughs> <laughs> at least at least your college education. Uh, we end this with a prayer of thanks given. And the book of Sirach is our guide. If we listen again carefully to the text, the first reading, uh, what does Sirach uh, thank for? Uh, we heard that he was thanking the Lord for the wisdom which he has taught since he was, since he was young. But remember our text from chapter 51, which we heard, begins with verse 12 up to verse 20. His thanksgiving begins even in the first verse of chapter 51. Before he thanked God for the wisdom which he has sought since his youth, which came to him at first as the most beautiful, uh, he thanked the Lord, first of all, for deliverance. That's what he thanked for from verses 1 to 11. Only in 12 to 20, he thanked the Lord uh, for wisdom. And he did not end, actually, with the text we have. This is in the middle. There's the before, the thanksgiving for deliverance, and the after. He ends with some kind of a commitment with a mission to share this gift of wisdom to the tutor. No. So if 